And now, lore from the Book of Ryan. One time there was a, um, this famous person called the Hacks Cross Creeper in Memphis. I'm like scared of you now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Yeah. laughs> There's like, a Hacks Cross Creeper in okay. Memphis and it came to my house. He came to my house and what? was in really? my room while what? I was asleep. Are you no, serious? Are you joking? I swear to God, yeah. Haley came out of his room when he heard a noise. That's when the burglar came out of this room and the two met face to face. The way, the way it happened for me, I wake up and I just see my dad run into my room and he just looked at me and then he runs out going, hey, hey, hey. And I went out in the hallway just to see, I thought one of my kids was up and uh, had a mask on and I yelled at him. And apparently it, he had seen the Hacks Cross Creeper coming out of my room while I was asleep in the middle of the night. And then he just came in to see if I was fucking alive or stabbed to death. Do you want to ask your question first or should I? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> How do you still have so many stories that keep being this shocking? Yes. <laughs> um, okay. okay. So he's a creeper or a killer? He's a creeper. He just comes into people's houses, creeps around. Doesn't even take a whole lot. He just apparently gets a thrill out of walking through people's houses. He was very brazen. Like, like he would do it, he'd turn all the lights on in someone's house. He turned all the lights on in our house. And he stole my little brother's bike and got it. That was his getaway nice. bike. Nice. But he doesn't yeah. kill anybody. So that's why it was kind of weird. It was like, oh, wow, he's just going in. And, uh, uh, and stealing like 10 bucks or something from someone's house. But then about 20 break creeps later, he did end up raping someone. Oh my so, God, okay. And then they caught, then they caught him. How? <laughs> this is proof the simulation is real. We are all in your video game. I feel like everyone feels like the main character in their own life. No. Uh-huh. I don't. <laughs> no. I'm definitely no. a supporting character. Tertiary at best in the Ryan Haley 100%. story. 100%. They give him all the like good scripted events. In her defense, I have gone to a party where we all wore diapers and tried to pee our pants and not tell each other. And it was really fun. And so I totally give her a pass. That's not, that is not a defense right, 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 at all. Right, right. All you did was have her drag you down into right, the muck. Right, Did anybody do it? Oh, yeah, we all peed. And then somebody was, uh, uh, somebody pooped. I'm not going to reveal their name. And it was, it was, Ryan. It was a Chris, big controversy. It was Chris Damaris. 100% Chris Damaris. <laughs> right, did right, everyone right, get right. diaper rash? Yeah, a little bit. Ryan. What's up, Elise? Right. Yes, Elise. Right. Question, Elise. Did, yes. Were the, was it those diapers where <laughs> once you pee and they change color? <laughs> no, I wish. That would be, that'd be hilarious. That's next level diaper party right there. Thank you for Ryan, that idea. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Yes, Elise. Yes, question. Were people trying not to pee? No, that was the point of the party, Elise, was to pee at some point it, uh, while it, we had a okay. plenty of, of replacement Ryan. diapers. Ryan. So if you peed, you could go change your diaper. And we had a changing question. station. Yes, we had a changing question. station. Question. Yes, Elise. James, in the back. Yes, question. Uh, was it Chris Damaris who pooped himself? You know, I plead the fifth, confirmed nor deny it that. Was. I don't want to keep secrets. Yes, Elise. Ryan. Yes, Ryan. how can I help you? Um, what, uh, what, uh, what? Uh, I haven't seen her this excited Ryan, about anything Ryan, in my Ryan, whole life. Wait, Ryan. Hey, John, sing the song. Beautiful girl. Yes, John. Yes. Um, did you change your own diaper or did other people change your diaper for you? <laughs> Some people were doing co-changing, like boyfriend girlfriends were changing each other and stuff. Uh, I just changed myself. I didn't really want to put anyone through that. Did you so, lay yeah. on, uh, Ryan, Ryan. Yes, John. Yes. When you changed your diaper, did you lay on your back on the changing station yeah. and put your legs up? <laughs> <laughs> I was a good boy. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Did you powder your ass? <laughs> yes, at least. Yeah, there was powder there. Yes, there Ryan. was powder. Yes. Was, was there any m- manipulation or deception? Did people lie about the peeing? How can you lie about a, a wet, sloppy diaper that's like hanging off of somebody's uh, butt? It's gross. You don't want to. No, there's no lying. This happened. Oh, my God. No. No one's oh gonna, my god. No one's gonna brag All about right. peeing in a diaper and not actually do it. Any more questions? None. None. Okay. Hey Ryan. Yeah, what's up, John? What were you doing back in 2007? Dude, that was like the prime of my life. Oh, well that hurts. I was in college in Austin, Texas, living at the co-op, or as you call it, the fuck farm. Uh-huh. It wasn't a fuck farm, but that's what John calls it. That's what it was. You gotta poop and beer bong at the same time. People wear clothes on the fuck farm? It's a clothing optional establishment. No, I was butt naked for three years, basically. <laughs> I was having the most fun ever. All right. By the way, I get a lot of enthusiasm from this guy right here. I mean, Woo! yeah, yeah, maybe, Woo! yeah, probably too much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Where are you from? Memphis. Memphis. What are you, are you a student? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Just crazy? <laughs> yeah. 
No, I'm all about- I- I had an ongoing war with my mommy for years. I wanted to see all this fucked up stuff. Ryan, you're up! But she wouldn't let me, and I had to go download American Pie on Kazaa and watch it in a little window at like one in the morning, and that pissed me off. You gotta go somewhere. That make me mad too. Every period is the worst period of all time, Ryan. I don't know how that stuff works. <laughs> you didn't learn on the fuck farm? <laughs> Ryan! Yes? What if somebody had their period, did they nude it up? Hey, well, you know, we're- It was a freewheeling, free lifestyle, baby, you know? Who gives a shit? It's a human thing that happens to you, so I we didn't I don't disagree fuck. with you, I'm just curious. Did you yeah. still have sex with them if they had their period? Man, we were just freewheeling it up, James. Just no <laughs> one cared Guys. about anything. It was 2007, baby, just another time. I ate a pigeon! <laughs> Ryan, you told me that you found a weasel living under your mattress. Well, I never said that. Ryan, Ryan, good yes. improv is yes and, okay? <laughs> so John's gonna ask you the question again, and you're gonna good improv it. Ryan, you told me six times in your life you've woken up and you pooped the bed. And That's not true. Back to sleep. That's not Ryan, true. Ryan. 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 Good improv. No and. Gr no, no, Ryan. You good improv no is yes and. So John's gonna ask you one more question. You gotta yes and it, okay? It's for the video. It's for the sake of the video, Ryan. Come on. But what People about the truth? The what about the improv. truth? Damn it. No one cares about the truth. All right, go ahead, John. All right, Ryan. You told me that one time you had to be carried to the ER because you got stuck trying to suck your own dick. I have attempted to do this before, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I, it, I, my, I am like I can't. I'm the person that cannot stretch. It's not happening. I can barely. Well, the move difference at all. is the difference is maybe you didn't want to touch your toes. <laughs> By the way, status update, these games from 2007 suck. Ryan, okay. we're celebrating 2007. Sorry. You know it doesn't suck? Ryan and his own dick. Yeah. You want to hear the best Ryan nudity footage that's out there that was like just the... Yeah. The Ooh. best film screening I've ever been in my life. Okay. Yeah. That I'll never forget. At the co-op, I was the videographer. The fuck farm. The videographer yeah. of the fuck farm. And I would make a big video yearbook at the end of every semester. And one semester, we had breakfast in bed made for you. Okay. So I filmed it. I got up way early at the crack of dawn and I filmed it. And That's then really for the video, though, I intercut with everyone eating it, me uh, rubbing my balls and pancake batter and bacon and stuff so that it looked like a They would eat ball pancakes and butt bacon 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 ball pancakes. It, it killed. I cannot stress how much this part of the video killed. Did you make like syrup on oh. top of the dick going through the dick into onto the pancake? And all this was fil is just filming of your genitals yeah. that you then cut and you presented to a bunch of people to as an end of year reward. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How'd you get all the syrup off your nuts? I still haven't. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what the heck is happening here? Wow. Editor, I have the actual raw footage still, so come to me for that before- uh, Emphasis on raw. <laughs> Please don't let me be editing seen this it? video. There's a really good shot of me putting- There in, are no good in, shots. In between two pieces of toast and trying to eat it, you know? Like, you know? Are you joking? <laughs> or is there really a shot of you putting your genitals between two pieces of toast? Jesus. How, 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 how long? Oh my god, there's oh, shots on there right now! He said the no, word no, and I missed oh my it! God. Hold on. I'm just trying, Ryan, how, this might be a little bit too personal, but how, how low can you go if you could fit him yeah, in a how, two pieces of bread and try to eat him? Well, I'm talking about the dick part. Oh, I thought you were trying to put your... He put his whole genitals and then he's trying to eat... Yeah, your large potatoes. What was, like, the biggest controversy at your high school? Like, there's always one where you, you got some... Somebody did something bad. There was this couple who uh, got caught giving each other blowjobs mm. in the bathroom, and then the teacher went in and found them. That was hilarious. Everyone was talking about that. They both got expelled. But then- the, For blowjobs? Really? Yeah. For blo well, uh, during school, I don't know. Take what? it where you can get it. Catholic school, you know, oh, that uh, changes uh, the arithmetic, uh, you yeah, know? absolutely yeah. does. All right, you gotta beat them up again. 
Here we are. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I we feel can... like we can find a better school game, right? <laughs> but the big one that I got blamed for, and I still get people asking me about this, somebody went and took a dump during a school <laughs> dance and then brought back part of the shit and laid it in the middle of the dance floor in a napkin. Some people thought it was me, and it was not me, and then, and, and I, in fact, not only that, I was not even at the dance at that time. It just was one of those things that got repeated enough to where for years would go by and go, weren't you the guy that shit on the dance floor? I'm like, no, I was accused of it. They ran the investigation. Oh, the, sc the school but, but held the, like an the, inquiry? The rumor went around the world a million times before the truth put on its shoes. Was the culprit ever? There are lots of uh, uh, suspects? suspects, and I have my suspects on who I think the suspect is. Call them no. out. Yeah, li list them by name here. <laughs> <laughs> you finally have a platform. I <laughs> Uh, schoolyard sports. What's your favorite schoolyard sport? Um, what's I'm thinking of the, the non-offensive word for it now? What's the, <laughs> the non-offensive word for it? Come on, Probably, Memphis. Uh, 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 what's the? It, it's where you somebody has a ball and then they run away from the crowd of people that you know. We called it <laughs> in Tennessee. Oh my Whoa. god. Holy okay. shit. Oh, so there is something that I've been meaning to talk to you about is for a while it? that I just remembered. Bring it up. Let's go. Uh, is it true that when you're in university or college, as they call it here, you would dress up as an elf in December and like ride around campus? You must be referring to Napkin the Elf. I am. Is that you? Well, here's the thing, is that, no, no, I didn't. I am Ryan. Napkin is Napkin. They are two separate <laughs> entities and people, okay? Mm -hmm. Ryan was not around when Napkin, Napkin was around for one month right. in December. And uh, 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 and when I w when he was around, I was conveniently gone. But <laughs> he was he had a lot of fans in Austin, Texas. I know that's how I found out, not by you, but by someone you went to school with. <laughs> that's insane. Uh, was like, you work with the elf guy, <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> 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 they told me about napkin the elf, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I also like was told that you went pretty extreme. Dude, like the whole month, you wouldn't break points. character. Napkin never washed his clothes, his, his <laughs> elf suit for a whole month. And one time, I got uh, got in a big fight with his teacher about a grade as an elf in front of the whole class, and everyone that was the low point for Napkin. Not that you would know, because you are not Napkin. I heard yeah. all about it later, but yeah. I mean, he's got a he, lot of interesting stories to tell. It's just that none of them are appealing. And yeah. he doesn't wear yeah. pants. No, I just, no. I, at least not any without holes in them. Which is, no, I mean, not, yeah. no judgment. It's breathable. One yeah. time in the office, I complimented him on a shirt that had holes in it, thinking that that was an intentional design. And then when he said, thank you, I've had it for nine years, I realized that it was just that the shirt had aged terribly. Oh. Well, he's thrifty, you know. Thanks. This is actually a good test here. Ryan. Yeah. If we could see past this filthy sink and into this property, mm -hmm. is it nice or bad? I mean, I would live there. That That's doesn't really bad. answer. Yeah. <laughs> or does it? <laughs> Ryan, another question. Yeah. Did you see the TikTok videos of that woman, the young woman that discovered another room behind her bathroom mirror in her New York apartment? It was like no. a whole other apartment behind there. No. And like it was empty and mm -hmm. looked like it had been cordoned off. Mm -hmm. Would you live there? I will live anywhere. Oh, okay. I have. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, the lowest I've gotten my rent down is $100. A hundred dollars. You've paid a hundred dollars to rent a place in LA. Yes, did I did. Have roommates? I rented an eight hundred dollar room. Uh -huh. Okay, and I in a in a in a house, and then yeah. I said, "Hey, is it? Can I rent out part of this room to someone else? How big was you, this wait, room? You <laughs> wait, hang Hold on. on. <laughs> you sublet your eight hundred dollar room? Think, yeah. He sublet a portion. A portion of, his of my room. room. So, how big was the room compared to the room we're in now? The room was about half of this size, <laughs> with 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 a a big walk-in closet with a window in the walk-in closet, which is important. To what? The outside? To the outside. <laughs> That's a nay. Hey, I'm with Ryan. That makes another room. That makes another room. And it was <laughs> another room. So I found, so I didn't just find another roommate to find, to get, to pay the $700 while I took the $100 and, and made my room in the in the walk-in closet. I found two 19-year-old music uh, musicians that had come out here from North Carolina. Hey, and, what a sad state. And, and they were like, hey, uh, I was like, do you guys want to split my $700 main portion of the room and I'll sleep in your walk-in closet for 100 bucks? And they happily obliged. You had a bed? I had a, a, a couch that took up the entire uh, length, of, uh, length of the okay. walk-in closet. That was my bed and my room. Question, Elise from Funhouse. 
Yes, always. I'm fine at. What was the bathroom situation? Because you added two additional people to this shared living. We th- I'm sure there were other roommates in the house as well. So how many yeah. people shared? There was like about 13 people sharing one bathroom. Okay, yeah. so how many? There was so how many bedrooms? <laughs> <laughs> on paper, James. okay. James, James, right. Right. James yes. Funhouse. Calm down, calm down. Um, so on paper, uh, if you were to ask the the government how many <laughs> bedrooms and bathrooms this apartment had, what would the government documentation say? This is Ryan's apartment. <laughs> that he wishes. <laughs> well, there's technically Whoa. only f- three official bedrooms. No, I'm sorry. There's four official bedrooms. <laughs> we made every place a bedroom. How many bathrooms? I was about to ask, yeah. One bathroom. One. Okay, one yeah. bathroom. Four, yeah. one. It was a four, it was a... one, which already should be illegal. Uh, uh, Charlotte, what's your question? I know you've got one. I was wondering if the four of you ever used the bathroom at the same time. Well, you know, because 13 people, there's tons of times where more than one or three people need to shit at the same time. Mm-hmm. And then it's just luck of the draw. It's survival of the fittest. Drink 10 of those beers and pass out and piss your pants. That's oddly specific, Ryan. Uh, have you ever peed your pants when you're drunk, John? Be honest. No. Okay. <laughs> have you? The fact uh, that he said be honest makes it seem a bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a gotcha game play? Hey, Ryan, to... be honest. I have. I oh. have. I'm honest. All right. How did it happen? <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> Uh, what else do you want me to do? You want me to hear the whole story? Well, yeah, yeah. tell the story. What? So you're 16. You don't know how to hold your liquor yet. You drink like five shots and you're like, wait a minute. That nothing's wrong. Nothing's happening. And a minute later you drink another <laughs> like nothing's happening. And again, you don't realize it takes like an hour or so to happen. Uh-huh. And the next thing you know, it's the next day. You're covered uh-huh. in your own piss. Yeah, I remember. Oh, okay. Everyone's making fun of you. It's on your friend's mom's couch, and they're oh, getting no. mad at you. Oh, God. You're no. saying, remember that time you peed on my mom's couch? Oh, wow. You know, Halloween? Oh, that's mm. bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making me get into this story. I didn't want to bring it up. Have you ever peed your pants when you're drunk, John? What's the worst thing? Uh, well, I guess that's probably the worst I, thing. I, but... No, there's worse. Oh. Back to pissing when you're drunk. I have a like <laughs> yeah. a, a, a am I an asshole question about mm-hmm. that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's just say somebody hypothetically got really drunk one night with a bunch of friends, and they woke up the uh-huh. next morning with their lady friend that they had been um, lady friending with. Uh huh. And uh, of course, yeah. And you had peed the bed. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So you wake up and you go. There's two. There's two options basically that i had one you could just say well fuck this is embarrassing and tell them what happened that's probably what you should do Uh uh-huh but continue or you can do b blame them you can look around (laughs) find some half full beers that were around from the night of partying then you quietly (laughs) while they're sleeping pour it all over both of you okay and then you go back to bed and you wait when you wake up they go wait what's why am i all wet you go oh my god we should we must have gone to bed with some beers in us uh, all by us that's (laughs) so stupid (laughs) well uh, let's just clean it up and they never knew they were peed on which is oh they believed it well i guess you did (laughs) relieve them of having to know that that had happened to them so i'm a good guy no No. (laughs) why ryan can i ask a question (laughs) yeah how many times have you pissed yourself drunk? <laughs> Not that many, as it sounds like from this conversation. Well, it's at least two. <laughs> My, no. At least two. This is at Why least two. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. S- and second okay. question. How many times have you peed on somebody else's furniture? <laughs> Look, just answer the question. Am I an asshole? Yes. I mean, yeah. No, no, have you ever shit yourself? No, uh, uh, only once, but it was not. It was, I, I knew it. I, I did it on purpose, though. So. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> a long time ago, I uh, ran a marathon with virtually no training, and it almost killed me. I was doing just one run before it, and I kind of went too far out into the the rural part of of Memphis, and mm-hmm. I was nowhere around um, a bathroom, but I had to shit. Okay. Uh-huh. I just I knew I had to, and I knew that okay. there was no way I was gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, that's was, happened to many of us, I think. So I just literally sat down on a park bench and I shit my pants while cars were going by. <laughs> oh my Why god! Why did you go somewhere where you can take your pants that's off? There was <laughs> nowhere to really go. Even though I say it's rural, there's yards everywhere. There's it's not like there's I can hide. Yard. 
I, so it's wait. all open. What if someone sees me shitting in their yard? You I thought that a public bench was a better... I want you to look at the I game right now. What, watched... what the game says right now is directed at you. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's yeah. The, basically the exact replica of the bench I shat on. Ryan, how many miles into this marathon were you? <laughs> This is like my one tryout run that I did right before the marathon. And I, oh, and I, okay. shit, I literally shit my pants, so it did not go well. <laughs> and, I mean, you learned a valuable lesson. Bring a diaper. I want to see, like, an interesting baby head. Oh. A horn. Child, yeah. yeah. I have one of those. I had a horn when I was a kid. You had a horn? You, you know, I have a really long head. Okay. My mom was in a 12-hour labor. Oh, she's and, and, getting that head and, out? And getting that head out. They said at the end, my head was all, like, yeah. molded into a, you know, because they're all soft. They're fontanellas. Ah. And then they had to mold my head back into shape wow. after all. Oh, so that's why I have this weird head. Speaking of A's, we're playing the Teletubbies game. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, only because... What the fuck? Nightmare. I've never <laughs> seen... I've never seen an episode. Really? No, I've only seen Ryan, clips. What's the matter? Just bring me you back, seen, dude. Bringing so, you back to what? I used to be one of these people a long time ago. <laughs> what? You used to be a Teletubby? Yes, you heard me right. Mm. Uh, uh, the main reason why we're playing this today, Ryan let it slip that at one point in his career, career. he was a Teletubby. Not but, just a Teletubby. But not on the TV show. Were you the purple one? I was anyone that... Hold I was, on, were you Tinky Winky... Yes. Nipsey. No. Uh, no. Uh, what is it? Uh, so I was never Poe. I can't be Poe. I'm too Poe's tall. Poe's small. Poe's small. Yeah. What was Poe? Poe was definitely played only by child slaves, uh -oh. right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't they all sound like that? So, so they which, all, they which all one? Make that which noise. one did you play mostly? The Dicky Winky. The gay, you Tinky the gay Winky. one. Usually is tall. A la la too. Anyway, which one did you pick? Who are you? Who are you? I'm usually Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky, X. the tallest one. I yeah. need a color. Tinky I'm Winky. the purple one. Okay. I'm the gay one. Dipsy. <laughs> la la. Poe. Poe. Oh. But just to be clear, I was not just a Teletubby. I was all, I was an, a birthday party entertainer. About 10 years ago, Adam, I wide-eyed, bushy-tailed Ryan Haley got off the bus and was like, I need to make money somehow mm -hmm. so I can pay my rent. Yeah. Because I wanted to make movies, but I didn't know how to make movies I when I got you. here. It's like, how do you, you get? You. How do I become Steven Spielberg? I, yep. All right, I need to have a few steps. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Birthday party clown off Craigslist was my first job here, and I did that for five years. So, <laughs> so did you play a whole host of characters? Uh, every character. I, I'd show up on a third on a Friday, and then they'd say, "Okay, Ryan, you're gonna you have like six parties this weekend. You're gonna be Mario. You're gonna be SpongeBob. You're gonna be Tinky Winky. You're gonna mm -hmm. be Yo Gabba Gabba. You're gonna be." Uh, Minnie Mouse, mm. you know, uh, wh whatever they needed. So tell us, do you have any fun stories? The most awkward one was like when I'd be Spider-Man, I'd, uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty tall. I was going to say, yeah, six foot five <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man uh, walks in. Yeah, well, and, you know, it's like a paj like spandex pajamas. So I, uh, uh, there was one time in particular where I, I was like 15 minutes into the party, you know, we're right out there uh, uh, in, in their front yard and I'm, we're doing games and stuff or halfway through the games and then uh, the, the dad comes up to me and goes hey spider-man uh, i want to talk to you over here and i'm like oh i'm in the middle of this thing going you know like like suspension of disbelief here you know i'm spider -Man. And he's like all right uh, sorry kids i gotta go uh, uh talk to your dad mm -hmm. and then the the dad said to me like he's like hey so the women were talking and i think you're you're showing through your spider suit mm. so uh can you go like fix that or put something like on your dick <laughs> like my dick was showing through the spider the suit it, yeah my, the they, didn't, they didn't give you uh, was a dancer's belt or whatever no i had no dancer's belt okay. no so they could see spider-man's uncircumcised penis they could they saw my spidey dick yes oh, and boy. um Were you, did you shot web I was like, <laughs> whip, whip. Yeah. no watch out mary jane did i'll kids, save you no. did you hear any of the kids screaming children did any you say you're playing tinky winky did any at, at that party? No, no, at oh, any general, party. Yes, yes, yeah. Any, any young mothers or old mothers, I don't give a shit, walk up and say, like, so I heard you're the one that has sex. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you're that's the, gay you're the Teletubby that fucks. <laughs> yeah. that, well, but they see it as a challenge. No, but when I was Superman or Batman, that was the ones that the mom... You were the, Superman. Yeah, baby. I got, I'd, I'd get in this buff... Fucking muscle suit, and then oh, okay. the moms would be like, "Hey, Superman, you Love know, yeah. you want to take some, have some beers after the party, yeah. you know, after uh -huh. you're, you're off." She's like, "I'm year fifteen into this would. marriage, and it's not going well." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are you doing? <laughs> Possibly homeless person. <laughs> <laughs>
One time I did a, a, a kind of save a child as Spider-Man. Really? That was pretty cool. Were you also what put the child in danger? <laughs> I was Spider-Man, and we were in the uh, front um, yard, and uh, uh, I was making a million balloon animals for everybody. And then all, all of a sudden I hear a big commotion, like, like people yelling, and something's going on in the street. And, and I just look over, and a bunch of the, of the guys at the party are beating the shit out of this one dude in the middle of the street. And they're like, Spider-Man, do something! <laughs> Thing and you're like, oh fuck, yeah. and then you look down at your dick outline. And you're like, We're gonna die today. What had happened was that the dad of the kid, who apparently was a big fuck up and not invited to the party, came to come to his crash the kid's party, Got it. and then was trying to like be, be Didn't pretty count aggressive. Spider Man being there. Well, and then mm. they, so then they beat the shit out of the kid's dad at the party. Like, so what did you do? What? So hold on, I'm not to that point <laughs> yet. So then it was like, all right, that happened. The guy's gone. Party's back on mm -hmm. and stuff. And then it's like we go back out. I'm making balloons. Animals, and then I'm making like this awesome balloon hat for the for the main birthday kid And then all of a sudden I just hear somebody come up from behind me and it's literally like I didn't say I just hear this guy go like Danny Danny and it's I turn around and it's the bloody dad who'd run back up and like is trying to crawl back over me Oh my to gosh. get to the kid and goes Danny happy birthday Happy birthday and I'm just like whoa and he's like getting blood all over me and I'm like grabbing the kid and like everyone's like hey get the fuck out of here and You're like you're like uh not today yeah. green goblin Yeah right <laughs> <laughs> hurting my daddy yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I got the kid, and then I gra grabbed him while the guy was trying to come at me. And then, but then by that time, a couple other dads had like, wow. like grabbed the bloody other dad, and then we started to beat him up. Even when the rock misses, skyscraper, it seems like he does a pretty yeah. Well, skyscraper. I, I bet you skyscraper is just the rock's diehard because every action star gets a diehard. Jean Claude Van Damme has the hockey one. Steven Seagal has under siege. I used to live near him. Steven Seagal. And now, lore from the Book of Ryan. He came into the restaurant I worked at while I was a busboy, and he only uh, had ate a cake and half a glass of water, and I drank the other half because I wanted his powers. Oh yeah, dude, that is such a <laughs> weird. Like, there's so many other things you could do. You probably oh, got like herpes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got his powers too. Okay. Why so. are you scratching like that? <laughs> Filthy yeah, fucking power. mouth. You could have had all the powers of Steven Seagal. Yeah, you gotta slick back your hand. The problem is you didn't lick from my fork after drinking the water. <laughs> what does it take oh, to change the essence of a man? You'll notice in the most recent Steven Seagal movies, everything he does in the movies, he's sitting down for. Yeah. So he must have it in his rider. He does not stand yeah. anymore <laughs> he does on not. screen. You know who he's working for now? Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. He's his closest advisor. Steven, I only sit if I sit on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, please, this contract, too much standing. You throw in a cake, you have a glass of water, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, he doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> Mr. President, <laughs> you Joe Biden, right? JFK. I went to a job interview where I had a big gash on my hand. How did you get the gash? I don't remember that part mm. of the story. Why do I feel like you fucking spackle every injury you've ever had? So I just, I made it look really nice. I made my, got my like wrap on my hand look really nice and stuff. And I'm here mm. doing my job interview, trying to look presentable. I was on a white couch, which, which is very, which comes into the story in a second. Halfway through the job interview, I look down and they and I and I, my thing is opened up and it's all over this oh, red white couch and they Brian. haven't seen it. So my next thing is like, do I just leave this job interview and they'll see it later, or do I bring this up right now and I'll look like a responsible employee? No, you get no. so I brought it up right then. I go, oh, sorry. Uh, I have this wound on my hand. I think I've bled all over this couch. And they go, oh, dude, oh no. Uh, and then they made me clean it up. You're fucking, yeah, you're no scrubbing, shit. you're just yeah, like, I've got great organizational skills. I'm like yeah. literally smearing my own blood around while I'm on their couch, mm -hmm. while I'm trying to clean it up. Did you get the job? No, my friend got the job and then he said that they that they immediately were like, yeah, dude, this guy was in here earlier and he bled all over the couch. <laughs> He's so not getting, <laughs> getting the job. Okay, here's what I would have done. Yeah. I would have taken the bloody hand rubbed it on the seat of my pants, and then pretended to faint, oh. right? Oh. So then it looks like you have a bloody ass? It looks like you're bleeding out of your butt. There was nothing you could have done. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. You're bleeding out of your butt, there was nothing you could have done. It's also a liability for them because they got people passing out from bloody butts in their yeah. office. You get the blood on the couch, right? Yeah. Take off the fucking bandage as fast as you can. Uh -huh. You gotta stuff it in your pocket okay. so no one can see that it happened. Uh -huh. And then you just, you lightly scream, ah! 
I've been stabbed by another candidate. <laughs> and you just describe the appearance of the most qualified person that you see in the room. Patrick, what would you have done? Oh, hide it. What y'all are all telling me, it sounds like, is I did the worst option of all of the four I have. You gotta rub some ketchup on your balloon nut. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <Your balloon laughs> what did you not? just tell me? <laughs> Can we get HR? Is a balloon nut? Lore from the Book of Ryan.